Imaginary friends seem innocent enough, right? Well, a kid's overactive imagination can get pretty freaky at times, and that will make you question whether it's a figment of the mind or even a real ghost. We apologize in advance for the nightmares, and be sure to use your nightlight after watching this video. Let's take a moment to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and please join our notification squad. Hola, did you hear about our latest addition to our family? The richest Espanol is the perfect place for all you native Spanish speakers out there. Don't speak Spanish? No problem. Come on over, this is the perfect place to practice. Amazing facts, interesting people, and funny pictures. Creeper Man. This parent's story of an imaginary friend might make your stomach drop. Their three-year-old son always talked about a creeper man that lived in his grandparents' bedroom. Apparently, the creeper man stays at the grandparents' house and the boy always talks about him when he comes home to his parents. When mom and dad asked what the creeper man looked like, the son says, oh, he doesn't have a face, all calm and collected like it was no big deal. The parents of this young boy probably prefer the creeper man stays at grandma and grandpa's place. Barrett. One girl was visiting her old childhood home one day with her family. As the family was reminiscing, she told them about this little boy named Barrett that she used to play with. He lived in the house next door and they would play every day. Barrett even supposedly taught the girl how to play jacks. Her family then told her that the house next door had been vacant for years while she was growing up and that there was no little boy. How did she learn how to play jacks then? Sign of the Cross. One mother was told by her daughter that a man would come into her room every night and make the sign of the cross on her forehead. The mom thought it was just a dream until one day a relative brought over pictures of family relatives. Her husband's father had passed 16 years earlier and the daughter said that that was the man who put the sign of the cross on her forehead every night. Maybe this girl's imaginary friend was really her grandpa coming to visit. Grandpa. One woman's niece was seeing an imaginary friend she only referred to as the man. When she asked her niece what he looked like, the niece described the aunt's deceased father perfectly. When the woman asked her niece what the man's name was, she gave the father's name, but that she only knew him as grandpa. The father had passed away when her niece was only two years old and therefore didn't have a good enough memory to know him. Also, the man told the niece where her family could find his lost wedding ring, and it was exactly in the place she said it would be. Uncle Chris. Speaking of past family members befriending their younger relatives, this story definitely makes you want to bust out the sage. While one parent was watching their three-year-old jump on the trampoline, the little girl said, aren't you going to say hi to Uncle Chris? Chris was the parent's brother who was alive nine years earlier and drowned in the lake. The parent asked where Uncle Chris was and the little girl pointed to the garage and said, he tells me to be careful. Well, do what the ghost says. Amanda. One Reddit user's little cousin often talks about her imaginary friend named Amanda. She is apparently much older and watches the cousin sleep at night while sitting in the corner. Apparently, Amanda is much older and enjoys sharing stories about her life, including times when her family had no money or food and people were fighting. Also, Amanda gets mad when the cousin sleeps in another room besides her bedroom. This case sounds like it's not quite about an imaginary friend, and it really might be a ghost. Thanks for watching, and before you go, don't forget to check out all of the new and exciting content over at The Richest Espanol. Adios.